Deacon Henry here. In today's readings for Mass, we're presented with a challenge and a trap. Let's begin with the trap. Have you ever thought to yourself, well, I'm not perfect, but at least I'm not as bad as dot dot dot, and you think of some other person. Yep, we all do it. And when it happens, bam, we've fallen into the trap Jesus highlights in today's Gospel. So it's the story in St Luke where the two chaps are praying in the temple. One is a Pharisee, the other is a tax collector. And the Pharisee looks over to the tax collector and says, thank God I'm not like this other bloke. At least I'm not a collaborator with the Romans. At least I lead a good life. You know, we are all prone to this way of thinking, comparing ourselves to others favourably. The point of the story isn't that the tax collector was without sin or that the Pharisee was a lying hypocrite. No, the point of the story is that when we pray, we come before God with empty hands. The prophet Hosea says this in the first reading when he says, God isn't impressed with our sacrifices, our good works. What he wants is humility. The psalmist says the same. He says about God, in your sacrifices, I take no delight. So again, when we pray, we come before God with completely empty hands. And that's our challenge. You see, relationship with God isn't like a contract. I'll do this, you do that. It's not a mathematical equation. And the tax collector gets this. When he prays, his eyes are downcast. He just says, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. It reminds me of a prayer used by Eastern Orthodox Christians. Uh, they use it as a kind of mantra prayed to the rhythm of their breathing. It's known as the Jesus Prayer and it goes like this. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, be merciful to me, a sinner. It's a kind of longer version of the prayer of the humble tax collector in the temple. So my challenge for you today is when you're tempted to be proud about your own behaviour in contrast to others, when you think, well, I give quite a lot to charity, or at least I don't stockpile toilet paper from the supermarkets during this crisis, just remember the tax collector and recite that prayer. 